Turning now to the political fallout from the Supreme Court leak, Roe v. Wade. Lawmakers on both sides of the aisle have some big decisions ahead if the court overturns the landmark ruling. Ed O'Keefe is following this, and he joins us from the White House. Ed, good morning. Good morning, Nate. As the Biden administration and Democrats now try to take action to protect abortion rights, it's set to be a major issue in this fall's midterm elections, with the president saying voters now have a clear choice to make. My body, my choice. Democrats across the country are now under pressure from abortion rights advocates to take action after that bombshell leaked draft majority opinion shows the Supreme Court could soon overturn Roe versus Wade. So if anybody kicks you out of the Constitution, you got to think about how you're going to get yourself back in. Planned Parenthood president and CEO Alexis McGill-Johnson talked about taking action Wednesday night on The Daily Show. And she's not the only one. The Supreme Court doesn't have to have the last word. In the Senate, Democrats are planning a vote on making abortion rights federal law. The United States Congress can act and protect a person's right to an abortion. But the mainly symbolic vote is unlikely to pass. But you don't have the votes for it. By making people vote on this issue that matters to so many people, we've got a chance now maybe to change the makeup of who's in the United States Senate. And I'm all in on that fight. If the court rules as expected, abortion regulation reverts back to the states. Each of those elected representatives can make the decisions that they view best for their constituents. Mississippi is at the center of the Supreme Court challenge with its ban on most abortions after 15 weeks. But if Roe v.ersus Wade is overturned, it's one of 13 states with a so-called trigger law, prohibiting abortions immediately, with limited exceptions. People in our state believe uh, that when a, when a woman chooses to have an abortion, that uh, she's not only making a, a decision for herself, she's also making the decision for that unborn child. President Biden is now warning of what could come. What are the next things that are going to be attacked? Because this MAGA crowd is really the most extreme political ex organization that's existed in American history, in recent American history. The White House says it's exploring options for what it might do once Roe versus Wade is overturned, but doesn't want to preview them until or unless the court actually overturns that original ruling. And in more fallout from the leak of that draft majority opinion, they've boosted security over at the Supreme Court, putting up fencing overnight. And Justice Alito, who wrote the draft opinion, canceled the scheduled appearance for today at a legal conference in Nashville. Tony? More fencing in the nation's capital. Not a good look. Ed, thank you very much.